everyone, you're watching Dove Jama Spa presents Body and Mind Season 2. So today is all about connecting with nature and we're going to learn about an ancient yoga practice which is scientific in nature but will also provide a lot of spiritual insight. Wow, you know learning about this yoga practice is really soothing to the soul and actually doing it in the morning. I am not much of an early morning person unless it's for work. I am definitely a morning person. I am so happy to be outside today. <laughs> But I'm extremely looking forward to our yogic journey. No, let's go, let's go do it. Let's go. Namaskaram Deepa. Namaskaram. Deepa is our yogi for today and we are so pleased to have you with us. Thank you for being sure, on our man. show. Thank you so much. So Deepa, I'm so excited. I think you can tell about the fact that you're going to teach us some Shivananda yoga. Yes. Can you tell us how it's different from the other forms of yoga in the UAE? Because literally the world has like a trillion kinds of yoga, right? Yes. How is you know, your version better? So Swami Sivananda, he was a doctor himself. And okay. uh, what he de uh, designed differently was that the Sivananda series starts with posture starting from the top chakra going all the way to the lowest chakra. Okay. So the posture start with the sun salutations, inversions, the headstand and the end with the standing postures. So, so it's everything. reversing the blood flow. So it's reversing. The other reason for this is that uh, when you reverse when you reverse the series, then you're starting with the reversing the blood flow towards the head and the heart, which makes you more energized and yet entering into a more meditative state right mm. at the start of the practice rather than towards the end only. Okay. Yeah. And um, I'm Sorry. extremely ready to be energized and it sounds so interesting. So what is the scientific element attached to this yes. practice? So when you start your postures with uh, say a headstand or a shoulder stand, uh, when you re that reverses the blood flow to the heart and the brain. So you're already more energized, there's more blood circulation to literally every part of the body which do doesn't get usually addressed. Um, so uh, when that happens, all the other postures are much more uh, connected, much more intense, you know, your your mind, your body, energies are all connected when you do the entire practice. We shall get rid of our shoes and let's, let's get started, yes? yes? So Deepa, we are all ready, you got us in position, what are we going to do first? Okay, so we are going to start with a Shavasana. In, in other forms of yoga, you start with the warm-ups and you start the practice, but with Sivananda Yoga, you start with Shavasana, you first lie down, you ground yourself, center the body, mind, and then you begin the practice. Okay, so yeah? shall we lay down? So there? lie down, Shavasana. Completely relax on the mat. Hands apart, legs apart, just drop down completely. Yes, lie down. Hands apart, legs apart. Like this? Yes, apart, yes. Hands facing up, palms facing up to the sky. Turn to your right side and by pressing the left palm on the mat, gently lift yourself up into seated posture, lifting yourself up into seated posture. You can be seated in Swastikasana, the cross leg pose or the Padmasana, the lotus pose or the Siddhasana, the half lotus. Whichever is comfortable for you. <laughs> that was the best I two minutes. I feel so relaxed. It was absolutely the most wow. fantastic two minutes. Yeah. You know when you start a practice with Shavasana yeah. it, and then you start it, then it's a different kind of connection. Okay girls, so let's get ready for a sun salutations, Surya Namaskaras. So we start with sun salutations. Hands in Namaskara Mudra at the heart center. Now, inhaling and exhaling here. And inhaling hands all the way up, straight hand arching back and exhaling coming all the way down, your palms or your fingertips next to your feet, take the right leg all the way back, Ashva Sanchalanasana, take the right leg, left leg back, chest down, chin down. Inhaling the cobra, exhaling downward dog, trying to bring the heels closer to the mat and stretching the body with each posture, inhaling right leg all the way forward, 
place the back leg on the mat release the back leg inhale and lifting the back leg up exhaling bringing it all the way forward stretch exhale inhaling coming back up all the way inhaling and exhaling hands in the heart center so we just finished our wonderful and super relaxing sun salutation the sun is like bathed all over me look at this it. amazing deepa tell me what the benefits are of the sun salutation so sun salutations in traditional hatha yoga sivananda yoga is considered a stretch it is not a posture okay and there are series of 12 stretches that open up each and every muscle each and every part of your body okay. to the prana to the energy and circulating the oxygen and the blood throughout the body wow deepa i've never felt more uh, connected to my body ever but what are the how many times you repeat it in one practice in ideally one you do six rounds which okay. means right and left so 12 in total to well, feel completely warmed up and prepared for the rest of the practice do you know what for sun salutations you definitely need hydration right so we have our alien zero sodium free bottle drinking water and deepa you should try it yeah. it's some of the most excellent water ever so what do we have next because i'm still ready to be all yes yogic with you so we we move to the inversions because we want to reverse the blood flow from the feet towards the upper part of the body oh so we will be doing the shoulder stand the sarvangasana and the halasana the plow pose mm -hmm. so all right is it hard to do uh, it's not hard we just lie down and i'll give you instructions okay. you just have to lift your body up mm -hmm. on your shoulders support your back and then slightly then move the legs behind the head all right to give your spine and your uh, entire body a better stretch So what do we have next Deepa because I think we're going to conquer fear with our warrior pose. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so we stand up okay. and we okay. go to the warrior poses which is the last part of the Sivananda sequence okay. where we end with the legs. Okay. So we keep the legs about 3 uh, feet apart. Okay. The heels are in one line. Both the heels are in one line. Legs are perpendicular to each other. Mm -hmm. Stretch your hands out. Stretch both the hands out straight. Okay. And now gently start bending your lower right leg making sure your right knee and right ankle are in one straight line if you need a deeper stretch then very gently you're going to bring your right hand under the right thigh okay and the left hand behind and grab hold of your you can do this only if you need a deeper stretch otherwise you can stay in that pose Namaskar, that was you amazing. So much. You know what? You made thank me you feel so, so strong today, and I think I enjoyed that the most, Adipa. Thank you for having us. And guys, My look pleasure. at this class. We're like bathed in vitamin D. <laughs> I've had the best day ever. So everyone should come down and have a lovely class here with Adipa. The lovely January sun. You have morning dew on the grass, and I did an early morning yoga class. And there is nothing else that I can ask for here at the Dubai Herbal and Treatment Center. Now speaking of herbal after you do a class outdoors in nature you kind of want to use a lovely face wash from Himalaya which is their herbal face wash to wash away all the grit and sweat that has accumulated also speaking about our lovely session that we had here i have to talk about my anta pants which not only look fantastic i mean they're bright and pink but they are also so stretchable because if you're doing a yoga class you kind of want pants that stretch and give otherwise they'll hamper your poses so anta worked out perfectly for that So that session was all about connecting with inner self and embracing meditative awareness via yoga. Now one man who achieved greatness in complete contrast by sheer aggression and ruthlessness was Wakar Yunus. Our body and mind team caught up with the Sultan of Swing to discuss various aspects related with fitness. fitness is always a key i mean uh, you know the fitter the the team is the, you you get the better result so i feel uh, you know uh, you know in our days of course one day cricket or t20 cricket was just coming in it was a different we we used to prefer test match cricket nowadays you know 2020 is a is a big format people love it so they just it's a, it's a pure entertainment so uh, you know fitness required for uh, for all format of the game the shorter the format hard the harder it is a 
it's hard to pick one because nowadays if you're not fit it's very very difficult to survive of course i would say one of the fittest one i know right now and nowadays is probably virat kohli oh he he used to uh, you know you know push us to to the limits to make sure that we 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 train train hard and he always believed in in fitness and uh, that's why that's where we we got it from also because the legacy he left for us uh, really worked for us and that's what we trying to do just pass it on to the youngsters come out of your rooms i mean be sporty be outdoor sporty not on the on the ps 4s or 5s or whatever it is uh, you know go out and uh, be like some of the stars out there there is opportunity there there is so much cricket going on nowadays so you know it's it's important to be healthy and to be healthy i think it's important to get out and and play sport don't go away because coming up next we're going to do our healthy eating segment where we share some great tips with you Welcome back. You're watching Body and Mind Season 2 brought to you by Dove Derma Spa. Now in our busy everyday lives, we tend to overlook what we eat on a daily basis. But Soulful is a restaurant which addresses this issue and aims to inculcate healthier and wholesome recipes in our daily lives without compromising on flavor or taste. So let's go and try some fantastic food. So now I'm with the operations and culinary director Dio Tamer. Tamer, welcome to our show. Hi Nicole, welcome to Soulful. I'm very happy to be at Soulful we because are, I am very hungry. We are very very happy that you are here with us. That's excellent. So Tamer, tell me how you all came up with the concept for Soulful and healthy food. Yeah, actually 5 years back we started the first outlet for Soulful. because that time there was no healthy options oh. uh, or very few healthy options so uh, for us and also for the people that they work all day they have very hectic life people like and, me yeah so we want them to stop eating that burger every day mm -hmm. and feeling guilty exactly so uh, we came we came up with the, with soulful let's say uh, it's a simple healthy fresh and creative concept that uh, provides healthy food for every day mm -hmm. so to start today i'm going to do pumpkin falafel correct yeah can you tell us what's in them why like they're a lovely big bite yeah uh, this is actually one of our favorite it's a special recipe for soulful mm -hmm. it's uh done from uh, falafel coriander there's mm -hmm. mint there's uh many ingredients inside Ooh, you know i can taste the cumin as well yeah mm -hmm. there is cumin also there the is little bit potato sauce. yeah you know what that is an excellent recipe and the most important in this that this is is baked it's what? not fried really yeah, it's Because a baked pumpkin falafel it tastes like a normal falafel but tastier because yeah. it's good for me Yeah. You know pumpkin is good for your blood pressure and it's good for a healthy heart. True. And I want a healthy heart. I want to live. The most important it makes you full. Yeah, the pumpkin it's very makes you full. And you know what the spices are really nice because they're kind of like warm Indian spices. So I would definitely eat that. It's really delicious. Tell us about the next thing that we have because they told me I have a bunless burger. What is a bunless burger sir? True. We replace the bun with the to portobello really they are grilled uh huh and with a awesome beef patty and Ooh. assorted mushroom I'm trying uh, to get a really big bite and little bit cheese <laughs> you said truffle yeah that is my favorite thing in yeah. the whole world is some truffle serve it aside with the uh, sweet potato and wasabi sauce baked yeah? sweet potato and wasabi sauce oh i love How's it it actually is very good because the portobello i think it's been like roasted or grilled beforehand and yeah. it tastes really the sweetness and the earthiness comes out yeah. and then you obviously have the protein with the patty on top but i love sweet potato fries yeah. it's like you knew i was coming and you gave me the best yeah. and my and favorite fries this it's also baked it's not fried 
Really? Yeah. That's excellent. You know, I'm just going to come and live here and have yeah, like little yeah, tent yeah. and eat as much food as yeah. I want. So, come here. We've done a starter. We've done what could be a main. I want some dessert. What do we have for dessert? Okay, actually, this is a dessert and mm -hmm. it's a breakfast treat as well. You can really? eat it in the breakfast, you can eat it uh, afternoon. Uh, What's in it? Anytime. It's uh, chia, berry, pot, mm. mixed berries, uh, chia, there is mango inside. Oh, I love uh, like the berry cool here on yeah, top. It's really it's nice. An amazing mix, very rich. You know, berries that are rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants. Yeah. And uh, chia seeds are high in omega fats. Yeah, exactly. Which is very good for my hair and skin. One of the best superfood, uh, the chia seeds. I agree. And they are, they are called like food runner because usually before warriors they have to get them like to stay full for a long time. For, yeah, like, exactly. Full day. So. This is, uh, I can be like a warrior princess yeah, after this, yeah, huh? Yeah, you are a warrior. <laughs> so I can go to the gym and run like for yeah. hours. So Dharma, thank you so much for having us. I would definitely come back to Soul Soul because I like you so much and I thank love you. the food. Thank the you. The portobello like is my favorite. We like you too. You you're like me too? <laughs> Excellent, we will come back. <laughs> I've refueled my body in a nourishing and healthy way here at Soulful. And speaking of nourishment, coming up next, we aim to recharge the body, the mind and the soul. So stay put because we're going to be right back. Welcome back. You're watching Body and Mind Season 2 presented by Dove Derma Spa. Call it detachment, clarity, nothingness or the state of Zen. It's something that we all yearn for in our busy and stressful lives today. And with that agenda, I'm here at the Femme on the Palm to attain my very own slice of Nirvana. So now I'm with Laura and Visam, who are the founders and the creators of the State of Bun. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. We're very happy to have you. I'm so happy to be here because you are already calming me and I feel so good as is. Tell me about the State of Bun and how it came about, you know, the inspiration behind it. Well, um, first of all, State of Bun is the collective work of me and um, Laura. Mm -hmm. uh, we come from a similar yet different background of psychology, behavioral sciences. Okay. She come from uh, art therapy, drama wow. therapy. So State of One is the blend mm -hmm. of what we learned separately and what we learned to, uh, together. Uh, spending our time in, in India where we met our guru and... We and were, met each other uh, as well. And met each other, that's <laughs> yes. right. So um, our, our guru and masters that we met across our journeys over there, they inspired us to just share this knowledge, those techniques that we know, and we are very fortunate that we are able to do that. That's so lovely. Laura, tell me how important you think it is for people to detach themselves and kind of switch off in this day and age. Yes, yeah, so you know, nowadays everybody uh, actually always uh, wants to be happy and exactly. wants to live well. So to do that and to achieve that, you actually uh, should take some time and pause in your daily life to be a little bit more mindful. Even it can be any time, anything that you want to do with more being more mindful. Mm -hmm. um, because you know, if in the end you are more within yourself, more balanced with your body, mind and energy, this first of all brings you in a very nice state, a very um, relaxed state, as well as it has a direct effect on the people around you and the environment. So in the end you are um, creating a beautiful space with Within you and around and outside. You. Oh, that is, that is so perfect. I love that you said be mindful because yes. that's the key. Laura, tell me about some of the other therapies you have on offer here. Yes, so here in Femme de Palm, we are actually offering um, the meditative massage, massage within the Willow Stream Spa actually. Mm -hmm. And here in uh, Fairmont, we are also doing a state of one. As mm -hmm. you know, state of one is a combination of the yoga sutras and drama art therapy. So we do as well workshops in the kids club here, which oh, is very nice and how fun. fun. Exactly. Yes, <laughs> and um, we also have the weekly meditations, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays here. We are giving it with, uh, in sequence with the singing bowels. Okay. 
as well as um, we have alternative spa treatments and um, they are coming up soon. We are working on them, very exciting. Excellent. So uh, yeah, stay uh, tuned. Actually, we're very uh, excited about the alternative spa treatments because it's somehow the core mm -hmm. of what we do and it, it creates a safe platform uh, for our clients to just achieve. Mm -hmm. certain, it's 100% uh, customized based exactly, on the needs. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's a careful blend where we would take off the physical part through Madea, through the massage techniques that we would do. And uh, we would synchronize the touch of the massage with guided relaxations. Is, um, I'm going to get a little taste of this now, yeah, aren't you I? Will, you, well, I will stop talking about yes. this, I believe, because <laughs> be you will uh, have it. Yeah, but it's, it's good to mention for the of people course. out there sure. that it's, it's a blend of different techniques from India, Tibet, the uh, Amazonian oh jungle okay. and all those things. So let's yeah. go and get started. Then let's do it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicole. Yes, Laura. Now we are the ones who are <laughs> asking the questions. How are you feeling now after experiencing our um, state of one session? I, I, I struggling to find appropriate words because what I experienced, I've never experienced before. So I found the whole thing so uplifting, but one word that kept coming to mind was so, it was just everything was surreal. It felt other dimensional, you know? So it felt like I was traveling like through time and space and avoiding like any sort of obstacle of, you know, the physicality. I know I sound like a proper smart yogi now, but, but genuinely it was so beautiful the whole journey. Wonderful. Yeah. Guys, how did you all come about with this? I mean, because it's definitely a journey. There are steps that you know you'll have engineered. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is like this the formula, if you want to call it, of state of one is inspired and taken from yoga as a technology or okay. as a system for well being. In yoga, the first two aspects are purely psychology. Then comes the asana part of yoga, okay. which is the physical, the postures. This, instead of doing asana yoga, we would do um, the, the meditative massage. And to make it more profound, we synchronize it with the breathing technique and with the, also the guided visualizations to make you more appreciative and more connected to the parts that we are specifically working on. Exactly, you feel more grateful. Yeah. That's right, and then we will carry on and we will do the other parts of yoga as a system where we would do an inward focus, dharana, mm -hmm. which will lead us to this state that you described, which is in yoga we call it the dhyana state or the moksha state, which is focus on nothing in particular. So basically you expand or you feel yourself you are this infiniteness. You feel like you're, you're like a cup that is you know, filled too much no and it's form. just falling you over. Have yeah, no form. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is the aim of yoga. You can say it's Somehow this, this techniques that we is carefully studied also with the help of art therapy and creative uh, art techniques that we offer in synchronization with all this is somehow like a shortcut to this, if you want to yeah. call it like that. And actually every stage of one session is like a tailored experience. So we tailored this one is actually also specifically for you. 
because we want to take in consideration everything so that we ensure you have a very nice experience. Nice um, is an understatement, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> a very good rounded experience. Yeah, that's what I was sharing before, a rounded experience. Um, because if you have been before in traffic or somewhere else, we want to take you from there and put you here. In this so moment. That you, in this moment, exactly. So that you really enjoy with your body, with your mind, with your energy, let's say, yeah, in the end. Uh, to really get the full fruits out of a state of one session. And this we do with each and every guest. It's amazing because you, you genuinely feel the essence of yourself, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I you, guess, you I guess. really do. So thank you so oh, much. Thank, thank you. you so much. I, for I genuinely want to hug you all. I've had <laughs> such Aww. a great time. You can have a high five. Five. Yeah. High five. Indeed. We will hug off camera. So thank you so much. Thanks. And we're going to hit the bowl because Let's do it. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the universe reverberating, isn't it? The state of one is a truly self-reflective experience which works from the inside out. And it has taught me how absolutely sacrosanct my body is. Most importantly, it showed me the value of me time. Now speaking of me time, a brand that certainly knows the value of me time is without a doubt Dove. And this time I'm going to be talking about the Dove Dermaspa range Oxygen Touch, which not only offers deep nourishment, but is so seamlessly absorbed into your skin. But most crucially, it has a scent that just adds a state of zen to all of my senses. Well, that's all the time we have on this show, but join us next week for an outdoor adventure.